The government cannot sit and order military to go and stop Galamsey. It can only be stopped in conjunction with chiefs. If they get the chiefs involved in this matter, look, I tell you, Galamsey is going to stop just within the blink of an eye. And so this is um, just a brief view of um, the situation. I wanted to show you something and know that the people don't love the job, but it's because of hardship that they are doing. Students are even doing this galamse to take care of themselves. We should find better means and ways to stop the people, but not to kill them, not to shoot. We are also urging the government to create jobs for the people in the country because most youth to graduate from school, um, nurses, teachers um, and those who graduate from the university they do not have a job to do every day vote for me and i'll bring one million two million three million jobs in ghana when you go to buy pure water one fifty pesos and others are selling it one cities pure water one cities and i'm just imagining the government should be able to regulate these things so that and make living conditions easy for its people yes um ladies and gentlemen you see um i have been waiting for for over time to do a video on the galamse condition bro right now as we speak you know let me show you something this is water um you can see how milky the water is so if you want tea you don't need to go and buy milo go and buy cowbell coffee and go and buy nito you come here you fetch this water and you have tea because this is the situation it's not a joke anymore bro it's not a joke we are talking about the future of the country yes and the issue is that the government stopping the galam say nobody have a problem with that you see i've interviewed some of the galam say workers just to find out that like why why can't you stop this because you know um military men are all over searching for people that are doing galam say to deal with them why can't you stop and most of them, the response that they gave was that, look, frankly speaking, there is no job for him or her. Because ladies to do, there's no job that if he stopped the galamse today, his children are going to suffer, his family, he can't feed the family. Because basically, what it means is that the government have to create job for the youth, create job for the people. That is the one key important thing that we should focus on. Stopping galamse without jobs in the country it's like you know we are exaggerating because it's trying to push something that you can't just end it like that if you stop it at daytime the people will go to work in the night and militaries cannot go all over in the bush in the night struggling to stop galamse flashing light no it can't happen so the galamse that they are talking of stopping it no actually yes it is possible they can but they cannot because if they stop it for for, for daytime they will you know work in the night you understand so just look at this water this water if it rains this water will overflow and join bigger water bodies and then all water becomes milk you understand if you need tea you just fetch and you go and you serve yourself you don't need to go and buy cowbell coffee and all that you understand urging the government to create jobs for the people it is very key because someone who graduated from the university who you know graduated from the nursing training college who graduated from the teacher training college you know sitting in the house for over three years two years five years no job and the person is suffering the person doesn't have any option than to come and do galamse and if that happens they destroy the water bodies and when you are to talk when you look at the other part the citizens i mean those people you can't blame them because they can't sit and die in hunger people are talking about farming and all that well, look it's not easy to farm and it's not easy to look cocoa how many years does it take for a cocoa you know to produce so that you go and sell it do you think somebody can sit for six years working just what are you going to eat for that six years so we're talking about the farming nobody is disputing that fact but we need to focus and see what can we do for our people let's get something as incentives for them and they can also stop the galamse i think if someone is a graduate nurse a graduate teacher um you create job for the person the person there's no way the person will be working in the hospital the person will be teaching and the person will be doing galamse at the same time it doesn't happen that way so first of all let's talk about the jobs for the military yes they can do their job uh, but i think this is just a nightmare and it will be difficult that you'll be able to combat this without significant measures being put in place and one of the key the best way you can stop the galamse look 
the government cannot sit and order military to go and stop Galamsey. It can only be stopped in conjunction with chiefs. If they get the chiefs involved in this matter, look, I tell you, Galamsey is going to stop just within the blink of an eye. Because we see the traditional leaders as, you know, the owners of the land. Because once a chief gives an order, don't go to that land. If we catch you there, you are going to pay a sheep, you are going to pay money, you are going to... Look, nobody will venture. So the government with its authority, yeah, nobody is disputing the fact that government should try to stop Galamsey. But people should talk about chiefs. If they make chiefs a priority in combating Galamsey, I think it can be done. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to take you long. I was just trying to let you understand that most of you have been sitting in the house and then you've been hearing about Galamsey. Let's stop it. No, this is the situation. And this is just a smaller portion of it. Look around. Look around. You understand. You can see things, every place, all this place. This is Galamsey. I will take my time one day and I'll be walking pit after pit. And I'll be showing you pit. They have ducked how they, they, you know, they have worked for the Galamsey. I'll even get time and show you how the Galamsey is done itself. I will demonstrate to you and let you see that, look, it's not that people want the Galamse or they love the Galamse or bro. If you see that job that they are doing there, I don't think nobody will agree to go and do that way because the person loves to do it. Because the person don't have any option than to go and hustle, make something for a living. In Ghana, when you go to buy pure water, one, 50 pesos, and others are selling it, one cities, pure water, one cities. And I'm just imagining if I don't have any work to do, why am I getting that one city to go and buy water? The government should be able to regulate these things so that it make living conditions easy for its people. And then we will stop, you know, getting ourselves involved in these milky waters because, look, if you get uh, this water into your body, you're going to get, you, you, you'll be damaged because a lot of chemicals are found in this. They call something mercury. That is what they used to, you know, get the gold. After everything, they'll use that to get the gold. And that thing, if it gets into your stomach, if you mistakenly swallow it, little of it, you run diarrhea for about, you know, one week. It's not a joke. So we are talking about important uh, things um, here. We are urging the government to create job for the people. We know it's difficult. We know it's hard. But at least some kind of um, expected jobs should be able to be created. And our educational system should be restructured. Every day book, every day book. We cannot create jobs, vocational jobs. Create jobs that the people will come out and they don't need the government to post them. But they will go and get the job and do by themselves. That is the kind of system that we should be getting in Ghana. And then getting our people out of what we don't want them to do. Imagine we allow someone from China, allow someone from you know, far place, outside countries. To come and do galamsey in our country and we are stopping our citizens from doing galamsey this is typically unfair it's not about license you can also license your people to do but ask yourself are we going to use all our lands on galamsey if no it means you have to stop licensing people to mine you understand number not the person is a chinese the person is an englandese or whatever you have to consider and ask yourself okay fine if we are saying that we are combating illegal mining. We want to do legal mining. And then you license all your people in the country to go and mine legally. Where is the future of our nation? That is the question. So um, I am thinking that, look, whether legal or illegal mine, if the government is stopping this, it should just eradicate it completely. Not to consider some people, even to the extent that allowing foreigners to come and mine in our country, and then you are chasing your citizens. Militaries are, you know, dealing with civilians. And it's sad when you see some of these conditions. And then go to the bush and you are shooting guns. Parr, parr. I mean, what is the future? We should find better means and ways to stop the people, but not to kill them, not to shoot. You understand? So there are so many measures that we can inject in stopping. So this is um, just a brief view of um, the situation. I wanted to show you something that you have been sitting in the house you don't know of. And know that the people don't love the job, but it's because of hardship that they are doing. Students are even doing this galamse to take care of themselves and then graduate. And then they don't have a job. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to waste your time. Time is fast spent. Um, I've not been here early. 
i'll find another day and then we get ourselves in some part i will demonstrate so many things for you and then you understand it better until then my name is richie randy and this episode is brought to you by joy ideas and samsung if you want a samsung phone that is of quality phone that you can use eh? where the battery self if they tell like nyamiche bro go for a samsung phone as bro we're talking about samsung phones in the system the ram and the room i don't want to talk about that but on a serious note samsung be phone go to any nearby samsung office and tell them that joy ideas recommended you to come for a samsung phone at a discount and bro it go bust your mind you buy it affordably and then it's not gonna cost you much you will come and thank me in the comment section bro you know i'm not gonna buy a phone that within 30 minutes my battery is off shout out to samsung go and get one for yourself this is joy ideas once again my name is rich randy see you next time in our next video bye bye